Well, speaking of leadership, South Africa is in a leadership vacuum. That's according to former president Thabo Mbeki, who was speaking at UNISA. He says this has led to the economic and energy crisis we're all going through at the moment. Pule Letsuiti Jones reports that Mbeki is calling for the inclusion of the African intelligentsia. Former President Tabombeki has slammed the current government for failing to be proactive in solving the country's many challenges. Mbeki says the lack of leadership in the country and society in general is an enormous problem. Essentially, he says this is why the country may never overcome certain issues, including unemployment and the energy crisis. Mbeki touched on the energy crisis, saying ESCOM's leadership should be held to account for the current challenges. However, he says a blind eye cannot be turned away from the fact that the challenges affecting the energy giant started as far back as 2007. In order to deal with this electric thing, it's so is to keep the lights on now. But I think to understand the company better, you need to go further back. Yeah. Who took decisions like that? One explanation I have seen uh, for that, it is said that uh, the, uh, the, the managers were in charge of this. It said they want to increase the possibilities for black economic empowerment. So that if you now have 20 contracts, that means 20 black companies. If you had one contract, I suppose it means one. That's the explanation that was given. But that's part of the crisis. As you can see now, <laughs> when the ESCOM announces that, uh, you know, the reason we're having level four, level five, or whatever, is because there's a power failure at Midopi, at Kusile, and the old ones. Why are the new ones behaving in the same way as the old ones? Or misbehaving in the same way? I think we need to understand all of that in order to, as part of the contribution to the solution of the problem of, of ESCOM. He argues we need to adopt the neglected African intelligentsia. He says this will allow more input on solutions to some of the problems we face. This includes the poor performing economy not bearing fruitful results. At the heart of our problems economic problems, social problems, political problems, is this failure in terms of our economy. Every day the numbers of our people who are hungry increases. The number of people who are unemployed increases. The suffering of the ordinary people is getting worse. So if you want to turn the corner with regard to that, you've got to come back to this matter, what do we do with regard to this economy? And when the business people say, we are ready to invest in infrastructure, long-term investments in terms of infrastructure, the money is there. And they are talking of, of monies that are worth more than 10 trillion rand. Now, if you ask me to, to write down 10 trillion and have problems with that, with the notes, uh, but these are huge sums of money that are available. We don't go, need to go to the World Bank or out of the country or anywhere. Yeah. It's possible to focus on the matter of the recovery of the economy. It comes back to the question of leadership. As Cabinet remains locked in meetings to discuss the energy crisis, Mbeki says what's needed is a concrete plan and not a non-practical long-term vision. Pule, Lichity Jones, in Pretoria.